Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And today I want to talk about getting the most out of your items that you use to build characters. Specifically, today I want to focus on ISO 8. There have been some recent changes to the way that we use these items with the updates um, just past us. And we do have now some additional information that we can use to better get the exact ISOs that we want and then to improve the ISOs that we already have to make them as close as they can be to the best and you might be asking yourself well why is this important uh, ISO weights you know they're only important for the ISO weights at bonus I don't really care if I uh, awaken them or not I'm not interested in extreme alliance battle whatever well it's important for a few reasons for one everyone has fully awakened ISO 8 so this applies to you no matter who you are even brand new players will eventually be given through login events and stuff like that some fully awakened ISO 8 so this guide does pertain to you and if you have those items secondly if you're the kind of person that doesn't care about PvE or PvP content but cares about their combat power and getting that number one rank this is also important because having maxed out and having the highest statted ISOs is also relevant to your combat power and so one thing that i have been doing kind of behind the scenes since the last video with my wolverine is tweaking his iso 8 um, values which is something that i'm going to talk about a little bit later to get his combat power higher so this basically applies to everyone no matter what and of course if you are the type that's interested in, in max pve scores in world boss ultimate fastest clear times uh, extreme alliance battle top scores this is also really important so the first thing I'm going to talk about is kind of the more painful part of it and that's kind of the micromanagement side of things um, you get a lot of ISO 8 from daily missions if you play that side of it you also get a lot of them from from uh, co-op missions if you have a higher VIP level um, and we all know that you can combine ISO 8 uh, to get to the higher level which is kind of straightforward one of the things that they recently did to make certain uh, ISO 8 combining simpler and much more efficient is they allowed you to keep the stat that you want on the ISO 8 when you combine it. So I'll give you a perfect example. Chaos ISO 8 are, uh, or ISO 8 are known to be the most hectic or the most uh, painful to use and to farm for because they have so many different stats. They have two stats and some of them range from very good like all attack HP like that one to pretty crap like crit damage physical defense this is just basically a garbage ISO 8 uh, but what you can do now is when you combine two ISO 8 so let's say I, I quick upgrade this one to uh, five stars here by uh, using these three star uh, ISOs and then I want to also upgrade let's say I really like let's find another one here that's better um, physical attack HP that's a pretty decent one um, it's almost as good as all attack HP I want to get this one to six stars eventually so I also upgrade this one and I have this one at plus five the way that I keep the physical attack HP when I combine them because it's no longer random is I use the physical attack one first so I hit combine I make sure it's in that top slot and then I select any other kind of sacrifice or fodder uh, ISO 8 of the same type and now my new ISO 8 will have physical attack HP so this was something that they implemented quite a while ago so this should not be uh, a mystery to you it might be a mystery to some of you um, but this is kind of the new way to um, ensure that you're always getting the ISO 8 that you want so I don't do this for any others but you can also apply this same principle to green ISO 8s to make sure that you're always getting all defense if you want to upgrade your four star and five star greens to six stars blue ones so that you're always getting uh, all defense and not physical defense uh, red ones so that you're always getting all attack instead of energy attack um, less important because most characters use energy attack most of the strong ones but still all attack just covers everything um, and then you could also use it for the silvers which are the reverse of the reds which have either physical attack or all attack so you would be wanting to kind of uh, narrow down the list so you only have five and six star all attack um, silvers but for the other stats they don't change these three are all exactly the same uh, I only do it however for my chaotics and that's why I have so many more chaotics than everything else uh, I sell basically all of my one two and three star uh, ISO 8 for all of the colors I keep all of my four star purples and then I use all of my four star um, you know silver red blue green etc I use those four star ones to upgrade 
uh, my four star chaotix so that I can then combine them to the ones that I want to five stars and then combine those that I want again to six stars. And my six stars are only ones that I like aside from crappy ones that I got for free uh, from different logging events and certain kind of giveaways. Um, but now there's something that we can do with the six star ones. They have to be fully awakened. So technically, if I wanted to do this to this ISO 8, I would have to fully awaken it, which I do not recommend. Do not fully awaken a crappy ISO 8 just to reroll the stats. But it's something you can do if you already have it awakened and it's just bad. So for example, this one right here, HP is fantastic crit damage is crap and I just you just don't want that um, so what you can do now as of the latest patch is you can change the option on the ISO 8 now this is the most risky it's the highest risk highest reward for chaotix because those are the rarest ones and they offer two premium stats all attack and HP and that's what you want to ideally be rolling for all of your characters um, you could also roll it for the top ones if you have them because I know some people do keep like for example this is energy defense five star um, amplified I'll probably end up awakening this one to six stars and then re-rolling it to get all defense or um, yeah in, in that case or if I have one that's physical defense like this one is perfect to change the option because it's a 50 50 chance that I'll get physical or all defense but this is not the only thing that I wanted to show you guys this is another really important thing to manage your ISO weight especially if you have some that are equipped already but I also wanted to provide you guys with the max stat options for all of your ISO weight so you can know what the ceiling is that you are aiming for so you can see here the stats as follows attack and defense are both capped at 282 and that includes the stats that you will see on chaotix uh, HP is capped at 525 and then crit and dodge are capped at 410 um, while there is a lower dodge cap than HP, HP has no cap, dodge is capped at 75%, so 410 is technically giving you a little bit more dodge than maybe the HP might give you as a raw number. I do think that in almost every situation, giving yourself an extra 525 HP is better than giving yourself that extra 410 dodge. There are definitely some builds that will take advantage of the dodge, um, but especially if you're combining with a max HP obelisk or you have max HP on your ISO 8 set or you have max HP team up bonuses or leaderships so that 500 is actually a huge number when it adds everything up and all the other percentages kind of stack together but in the case of this one I'm going to be using other six star ISO keep in mind that you cannot use the um, kind of upgrade or growth uh, extreme growth ISO 8 that you get for completing 70 uh, timeline battles per week you have to sacrifice your regular ones so my advice to you is sacrifice the purples the uh, yellows and the oranges first those are the least useful and those are the ones that have no change or fluctuation in their stats additionally you can use ones that have lower base stats and it it, it does very nice uh, thing for you by kind of organizing them based on their stats you can see here 306 323 343 this one is my highest don't want to use that one it's got the highest based HP so theoretically when I fully awaken it it'll be the closest to 525 this one is the lowest so I'll probably end up using this one ideally I reroll this now I hit all defense I hit 282 and I'm really happy it's 100,000 gold the gold is not really expensive in terms of the overall cost of ISO 8 enhancements overall but the cost of one six star ISO 8 is expensive so we're gonna try it here we hit all defense, we hit 281. That is pretty much as good as it gets. It's one off perfect. So this was a fantastic change. And basically I took a pretty garbage, kind of semi-useless um, ISO 8 because, you know, even among defenses, physical defense is much less desirable than energy defense, given that most characters in the top 10 of the meta are using energy damage aside from Wolverine and uh, Quicksilver so I kind of just hit the jackpot there with that one that was fantastic uh, it's much much harder to do with chaotix but it is something you can try as well in this in the example for this one crit damage is no good HP is pretty nice 521 I'm not gonna be able to keep any of these stats it r randomizes both of them uh, and there is no way as of yet to kind of influence what stats get saved so maybe that's something that they'll introduce later on down the line. I doubt it, but it's possible. But I'm going to try a couple times here because I have a lot of leftover uh, or extra yellows to get something along the lines of attack and HP. If I get energy or physical, I'll probably keep it. But let's just pull this a couple times and see. But the, the chances of this one, I would probably say, are closer to like 10 to 15% 
chance that you get what you're looking for. So just keep in mind you've got, you know, like a 1 in 6, 1 in 8 chance uh, to get the choice that you want. There we got all attack, but it's a low stat, 272 out of 282, and then dodge 395 out of 410. So both stats are low. Both stats are desirable, dodge being worse than HP, but still better than uh, anything else like physical defense or all defense or energy defense but they're both kind of low stats so i'm not really too happy with this one um, i'll re-roll it just a couple more times to show you guys what some of your other options will be this is basically as bad as it gets you do not want to keep this if you get it so if you have ones like this and you haven't already thrown them out which is what some people used to do they used to use the the bad awakened is08 to awaken other is08 so please um, if nothing else, stop doing that because sometime in the future when you have a lot of excess IS-08, you can do this uh, and not have to waste and sacrifice partially or fully awakened ISOs uh, because it just costs way too much in terms of resources to uh, awaken it all the way up from zero stars red to six stars red. One more time, we're going to try it here. Okay, we didn't get what we wanted. We're getting kind of low rolls, 398 crit rate is also pretty low it's 12 off the cap so i'm gonna stop but this is essentially um the two pronged assault that you can do for your iso 8 to ensure that you're getting the best non-awakened at six star especially for chaotix but also fully awakened iso 8 so you can go back to your top hitting characters if you have one that's an all-time favorite like scarlet or nova or doctor strange or if you have one that you're working on for combat power specifically and you can take a look at their existing iso 8 if they're already um fully awakened and you can make those changes and if you're having trouble banking up a lot of good chaotix you can use my kind of farming strategy to sell the three and the two and the ones and then slowly build up your fours into fives and sixes um, in order to get a more uh, robust options to equip later on. Keep in mind that you're always going to have to have twice as many Chaos uh, ISO8s in order to upgrade. So in addition to all of the good ones that I have, you see all these all HP or all attack uh, HP ones, I have a bunch of bad ones like all attack energy defense, physical attack all defense, because those are my fodder to combine with my good ones. So you need about... Um, for every good one, you need to find one bad one. So if you find that you're having too many good ones, you're going to want to wait or kind of sacrifice some of your other good ones to make bad ones because you're going to need to combine something at the end of the day. So let me know what you guys think of these ISO 8 tips and let me know um, if this influences any of your changes that you're going to make to characters and uh, what this added piece of customization for your characters in terms of their ISO 8 sets does for you. And if it doesn't do anything at all, let me know as well down below in the comments. Subscribe if you enjoy the content and you want to support me. And of course, if you like what you see, I hope to see you again tomorrow. Take care.